Welcome to our Google AdWords tutorial. In our ninth video, we'll teach you how to add keywords to your advertising campaigns. In this video, we'll discuss adding keywords to your AdWords project. If you wish to add keywords to an existing ad group, or edit existing keywords in an ad group, here's how you can do it. First, notice that I've gone to the ad group level in Google AdWords for my Antique Tables ad group. Let's start on the Summary tab. On the Summary tab, you get an overview of this ad group. And to make keyword changes, you need to click on the Keywords tab. There are two main ways to work. Here, to add keywords, you can just click on Quick Add if you wish. As it says, you can add one keyword or phrase per line. So if I scroll down, so far I have Antique Table and Antique Tables in all the variations. Let's add one more keyword phrase in all three matching variations. Let's add the more specific keyword phrase Antique Oak Table. We'll also add that in Phrase Match and also as an exact match. Antique Oak Table. If I save, those will be added. Let's see if they're added. And yes, they are. You can see by default the cost per click is the maximum cost per click for this ad group. So here's Antique Oak Table as a phrase match. And here it is again as an exact match, again at six cents per click, which is the maximum cost per click for the group. An alternative way to add and edit keywords is simply to click on Edit Keywords. You see that it lists all the keywords from this ad group in a single box. You'll note that if the cost per click for any keyword is not the maximum cost per click for the ad group, AdWords has added additional information. A space, two asterisks, space, and the maximum cost per click that we set for this particular keyword. If I wanted the maximum cost per click for this keyword to be 10 cents, I can type in space, two asterisks, 0 0.10 or 10 cents. Alternatively, if you want to put all these keywords back to the maximum cost per click for the ad group, you can delete all these if you wish. So in this example, let's just remove all this space double asterisk price text, keyword specific maximum bids, which puts us back at the maximum default cost per click, which you can see here for all the keyword alternatives. Now you can see that you can add and edit keywords as you wish. To show you some of the additional functionality, let's say we want to remove all the exact matches. We can select these three just by clicking, holding, and dragging, and delete, and they're gone. If we wish, we can add one further broad match, and even though we don't need to add it here, I'll just add it here to keep it together with all the other broad matches. We already have Antique Oak Table. Let's just make it plural and add Antique Oak Tables. And save the changes. Now that we've made the changes, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven keyword phrases, no exact matches, just three phrase matches, and four broad matches. All of them are the maximum cost per click for the ad group. Save that, and you can see that cost per click has changed and our keyword list 
has changed accordingly. That's a quick overview of how you can add or edit keyword lists in existing ad groups.